Right now at 6, a Milwaukee choir group forced to improv before big concerts this weekend. The group says someone stole their trailer loaded with expensive equipment. That story hitting a chord with the community. Kristen Byrne live at Wisconsin Lutheran College where the group takes the stage tomorrow night. Kristen. You know the saying, the show must go on, and it will go on tomorrow night and the night after here at the Center for Arts and Performance. Two Milwaukee choir groups and Wisconsin Lutheran College are making sure that happens. It's not that easy to perform like this when your community choir group is missing up to $20,000 worth of equipment. I'm calling um, salvage yards and, and recycling centers and see if someone's trying to turn it in and have them call the cops. Joseph Brickman with Milwaukee Choristers was storing the singing group's six by 10 foot trailer in the backyard of his Milwaukee home off 25th and Hampton. He went out of town Saturday, came back Sunday, it was gone. His surveillance camera at his house not turned on. Something I normally always do and the rare occasion it's off, that just happened to be one of them. The trailer had a podium and risers and railings similar to these. There's no way they would have known what was inside. Uh, if they did, I'm sure they wouldn't have taken it. But a bright side to the story, since the group spread the news of the theft, this happened. A couple of other organizations that offered equipment when they found out. So UW Parkside and also the uh, City of Festivals Men's Chorus. Wisconsin Lutheran College stepping in too, loaning the stage equipment including six risers to the choristers for their weekend shows. To have them help out is great, you know, and we would do the same thing. And the trailer that was stolen had three padlocks on it, one padlock on each door and a padlock on the hitch. Check with Milwaukee Police today, still no sight of it. Live in Milwaukee, Kristen Byrne, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Kristen.